Hey YouTube, what's up? Sir Show Off here, and I'm coming to you today to bring you an NHL 11 video. Yep, I haven't forgot about you guys. Uh, I've just been kind of caught up playing Call of Duty lately, seeing how that's a new game, and that's where all the hype is at the moment. But I thought I'd take time out of my day, out of my Call of Duty Black Ops playing, to bring you this video. Hope you guys enjoy it. Now what I'm going to show you in this video is four quick tips to help you out in playing. Now I apologize if you know all the facts in this video already, but uh, this video is intended for people who are still learning or who just picked up the game. I also apologize that I can't really show you by myself how to do most of these tips, but they're pretty self-explanatory and I hope you guys don't have a problem with them. So let us start. Now the first thing I'm going to show you is how to not hit someone who doesn't have the puck, that way you won't get a penalty. Any player who's going to be taking a shot on net should know how to do this. And that is hold L2 for PS3, or I believe on Xbox 360, it would be called LB. Now what this does on offense and defense is square your body towards the net, so it'll face your player towards the opposing net. What this also does is it doesn't allow you to hit a player that doesn't have the puck, which does happen a lot seeing as hit stick and shoot button are the same stick. So if you're pumping it to shoot and you don't have the puck yet, you're going to throw your arms out and you're going to check someone. Holding L2 will stop that give it a try the second tip i'm going to give you is speed burst a lot of people in this game don't even know that there is a speed burst this year and to activate speed burst it is pumping the l3 button which is your left joystick on ps3 i usually pump it about three times and that seems to do the trick and 360 owners i'm sorry i don't have a controller i don't know if your left stick uh is a button but uh, if it is, I assume that's what your speed burst is. Someone can correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. Uh, thank you. Now please remember that players do get fatigued, so don't pump it too much unless say you're on a breakaway or if you're trying to stop a goal. Now moving right along to our third tip, uh, that is how to tell the computer player how to shoot. So if you're on your team OTP and the computer has the puck on your team and he's on a breakaway or if he's at the point or something like that, if you hit R1 for PS3, and I believe it would be RT for 360. This will make the computer shoot. Now my fourth and final tip is what I like to call the super shot. Uh, you probably see a lot of players doing this, but a lot of people don't know how to do it. If you do, good for you. Give yourself a pat on the back. And if you don't, uh, pay attention. So it's very easy to do, most effective from the point. Uh, it doesn't always work if the player is too close to the net. So uh, Go into practice mode, try it out, try some uh, different spots out where you're shooting from, see what chance you shoot from what side of the net, and uh, good luck to you. But what you do is just pass to the guy at the point or high up in the slot, and the second you pass, hold L2 and hold shoot forward, and it should work. Anyways, this is the end of my NHL 11 quick tips video. If you like this, please rate, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, tell your buddies, and uh, hope to see you around again. Bye, guys.